Since Trump first broke the emoluments clause, I've heard so many people over the past three years say in reference to impeaching Trump, watch out or you'll get Pence. He's a dominionist, which is scarier. But is that true? If Trump got removed and Pence was president for only a year, would he really be all that dangerous or at least worse than Trump? First off, Pence doesn't have the cult appeal that Trump does, so I'm pretty sure the Democrats could easily beat him, especially if he pardons Trump. But what power does the president have? Could he do things worse than Trump? Well, first off, all of Trump's crimes would stop. Pence would probably try and return things to the status quo mostly, which isn't great, but it's better than it is right now. Pence would seek to restore trade ties. Pence loves the war machine, so he'd probably try and help the Kurds again and give them power to retake territory. He would probably restore help to Ukraine, though he would probably still weakly support election help and campaign meddling in the election, but he would do everything possible to be squeaky clean otherwise so scandal wouldn't hurt his chances of winning in 2020. Trump has brought in more pro-business, anti-labor, anti-choice, pro-dominionist judges than any president has, many of whom were completely unfit for the job. Pence doing the same thing wouldn't make things worse, just not better. He would also have a Democratic House to deal with who would block any extreme laws from going through. He would continue to be for tax cuts for the rich and against abortion, but he couldn't really do anything about either more than Trump did. He'd scale back regulations and attack science, but Trump has already done that. Trump has done everything possible to appeal to the Christian dominionist and acted as if he is one even though he only believes in himself. There is literally nothing Pence could do at this point that is worse for the nation than what Trump has done to it. In fact, it would be slightly better. Now, if somehow he got elected again, we'd all be completely screwed. But once again, not as bad as if Trump was re-elected. Now what if Trump isn't removed? Well then Trump will know that the law doesn't apply to him in any way, shape, or form. Rigging elections are totally cool as Mitch has shown over and over and over and over again by denying funding to protect our elections. Basically at this point, I half expect the only defense for Trump in the impeachment inquiry is the jerk off sign, middle finger, mooning, or the defense using the idiocracy of just look at him, which they've pretty much already used or all of the above. There must be some sort of repercussion or Trump will just keep doing whatever he wants, ensuring there will never be a fair election again and we can't get rid of him or Pence. Pence is evil, but he's not stupid and evil. He's much closer to Nixon than Trump. He could lie to your face and make you want to believe him, but his people and Trump's people aren't the same people. He's too much in the establishment. Trump has done everything Pence would do if he thought he could get away with it, and also done it in the dumbest and cruelest and ballsiest way possible. Pence doesn't have the guts to push the law as blatantly as Trump does, as it would suck, but he would at least pretend to care about the Constitution. So no, Pence is the lesser of two evils in this case. He used to be my governor and helped fuck my state up. We left Indiana to get away from him and he followed us. An interesting piece on him was done by the Crack Podcast that you should listen to. Like the fact that he had to drop out of his house race at one point for terribly abusing his campaign donations. He's a turd, but Trump is a fire that is burning us all. And without consequences of any kind, it'll never stop. This channel is helped tremendously by the generous supporters on Patreon. A big thank you to the wonderful Joe Taylor, Elias Garcia Guevara, and Ogrel for their support at the $10 a month Wapawet level. Please consider donating to my work if you can, and thank you all for listening.